Hi everybody and welcome to Free Range Diva. My name is Cheryl if you're new and if you're not, welcome back. So today it's going to be all about favorites. Now I don't do monthly favorites. I tend to do more seasonal favorites. And so since this is spring and I'm transitioning into some really nice new products, I thought I'd sit down and tell you about them. So that's what we're going to do today. It's Favorites Day here at Free Range Diva. So in the realm of makeup, I don't have a lot, uh, nothing new. I did want to tell you a story though about this foundation. This is the uh, cream foundation from Lily Lolo. My shade is called Satin. And uh, a funny story, a, a couple of weeks ago, I was um, coming home from somewhere and I ran into a neighbor on the street and we talked a minute. And she kept going on and on and on about how different I looked. And I, she just said, you look so good. You look so different. What is it? And I, I didn't know. I said, I don't know. I don't know what it is, you know, but thank you. Um, and so later that day, I realized that I was wearing makeup. I was wearing this foundation. And usually I don't wear foundations around, you know, around the house or whatever. So I think that's what it was. But then... A week ago, it happened again. I was I encountered another neighbor that I hadn't seen for a while, and she was the same. She's like, oh my goodness, you just look so beautiful. You look so good. What is it? What are you doing? And I realized later that I was wearing this foundation again. So something about this foundation really makes me look good, and that's why I'm talking about it here today. The shade is, a, is as summer rolls around and I start to take on more color in my face, this shade is going to become a little too light for me. But for right now, I can work with it. And so, uh, yeah, this is a cream foundation from Lily Lolo, and it's a favorite. I did a uh, Get Ready With Me featuring this foundation in action, so I'll link it in case you want to see it. And then otherwise, there's really nothing new. I mean, I'm using the same lipstick combo that I always wear, uh, and that's the uh, Elegant Lip Liner from Mineral Fusion and the uh, uh, Lip Gloss from Han Cosmetics in the shade Trailblazer. And uh, I've been wearing them out. I mean, it uh, in fact, on the hand, I've kind of worn off the label <laughs> from it uh, because I do use these, wear this uh, this combo. I'm wearing it today. Wear it all the time. So, moving into skincare, when you see my empties, I have been going through all the stuff in my skincare that had been backed up or things that I really didn't like but really wanted to just use up and get rid of. So I am now transitioning into summer uh, skincare. And so we'll start off with a toner from Andalou Naturals. This toner is from their Age Defying line. Uh, it's called the Blossom and Leaf Toning Refresher. It's got all those nice hydrating, it's a hydrating toner, so it's not going to irritate or anything like that unless there's something in here you're allergic to. This line uses grape uh, stem, stem cells, and so uh, it just really soothes and plumps up the skin, giving you an extra moisture layer or hydration layer uh, underneath your more occlusive products, or in my case, next would come a serum. So uh, this is really affordable. It's great. It doesn't have much of a scent at all. And it's just a basic um, toning refresher. And I have really been enjoying it. And then most recently, I figured it's time to start a vitamin C serum. And vitamin C serums in me usually have a short relationship because eventually my skin will start to become um, irritated because it gets synthesized to it. But so I'm starting a new one and uh, we'll see how I'm starting slow. Uh, I've only used it a few times, but I love, oh, it is the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. Uh, I love the texture of it. It's really lightweight. It's water-based and um, it has that form of vitamin C that I can't pronounce, but I'll write it out somewhere that is much gentler on uh, sensitive skins and I do have a sensitive skin so um, I'm looking forward to using this all spring into summer so that I get the vitamin C antioxidant protection that I need so yay 
but I'll keep you updated. I mean, if something happens, like right now, I only use this every other day or so. So if something happens and I have to stop using it, I will definitely let you know. I have also decided to go back to oil-based cleansing balms. Again, just to soothe, I've been using more and more actives on my face, so this is just to soothe it. Uh, I At night, I use the retinol uh, serum from um, my shell love it I'll talk more about it though after I've used it for a little bit longer but yeah to take off makeup this is from Insta Naturals and uh, this is their rose makeup cleansing balm you rub this on you then take it off with a warm washcloth and it removes all your makeup it dissolves it all has a very uh, light fragrance. It doesn't even smell like roses. It just kind of smells like maybe cocoa butter or something. Uh, but it's affordable. You get this on Amazon and uh, you get a lot of product. So I anticipate uh, this will definitely take me through spring and summer. So I don't really have much more to say other than it's basic product. My skin is really enjoying it. And I am enjoying getting back to sort of basics, to a very basic skincare. So double cleansing, this removes makeup, and then a gentle cleanser to take every, the residue that this might leave behind off. And I've also started using a new moisturizer. This is from Zion Health. It's the Wrinkle Defense Hydrating Cream Moisturizing Day Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. This is a very basic, there's no, it's fragrance free, there's no essential oils in it. It's just a very basic, calm, soothing cream. It's lightweight and features humectants like hyaluronic acid and glycerin and antioxidants like cloudberry seed oil combined with nutrients from clay minerals. I use it all over my face, my neck, my décolleté, the you know my upper body, shoulders. Here it is. It's uh, I just started using it a few days ago, and I am loving it so far. There you can see how light it is. It's definitely um, hydrating because it's got that hyaluronic acid and aloe in it, so it's got a very it's a cream texture, but it also has a little bit of those. Uh, refreshing sort of pushing water into the skin kind of qualities to it and uh, no added fragrance the fragrance just kind of smells like the ingredients that are in it it has that that sort of basic no scent scent doesn't last it literally smells like nothing at this point on my hands so just so you know and then the lotion that I'm using on my body right now uh, that's in heavy rotation is from Clear. And a while ago I did a video review of this. Uh, this is their Shea Butter 24 Hours Dry Skin Relief Body Lotion. Uh, this is recommended. It's developed for people with very sensitive skin. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot in it that will irritate you. For example, it's a short ingredient list. It's got purified water, glycerin, shea. It's got uh, coconut triglycerides in here. And uh, the preservative uh, is vitamin E. So it's very gentle, but it's really moisturizing. This is a, uh, the first time I got it in PR. This is the first time I've actually gone back and purchased it. Uh, it took me a while, but again, it doesn't have any kind of fragrance. And so, yes, you can tell that there is a theme here. I have been having um, out, rash kind of issues uh, and they have not completely resolved yet. So I'm taking very, very gentle care of my skin. And, and of course, I mentioned this in my last video, uh, and that is the raw sugar deodorant. This is very gentle. It doesn't have aluminum, baking soda, talc, parabens, or propylene glycol in the beach rose fragrance. Uh, I love it. Love it to death. This is uh, allergy tested, naturally derived ingredients. It has, of all the the formulas that I looked at, I found this at Target, it had the shortest ingredient panel, and again, no baking soda, so you don't have to worry about that under the arms, and because I tend to get irritated, uh, I wanted something that was very soothing, and that is what this is. 
Finally, this packaging is 100% paper and it's 100% biodegradable. So it's completely sustainable and it works. It works, it works, it works. So yeah, I talked about it before and uh, I'm, I'm raving about it again because I really I'm seriously want you to know that I how much I love this deodorant. By the way, if you want any fashion favorites, they're not going to, I don't really have any for this video because in my last video, which you guys seem to like, so thank you very much, I talked about all my fashion stuff that I am wearing right now because right now I'm just basically being really casual. Uh, so yeah, check out that video if you want to know what I'm loving in the realm of fashion. And then we're going to wrap this up with a couple of food favorites. This first one is uh, from Essential Living Foods. This is their organic superfood immunity smoothie powder. This uh, is vegan. So for those of you that want a protein powder that is vegan, that I can recommend, I can definitely rec recommend this, but this is more than just a protein powder. This basically is kind of, this is a meal replacement, or at least that's what it's designed for. I use it as a protein powder. You basically take four tablespoons of this, mix, uh, mix it with milk, like almond milk or whatever your milk of choice is, add some ice cubes, maybe a frozen banana, although you really don't need it. Uh, <laughs> and this will give you uh, a complete nutrition profile for your morning meal. Uh, an example, this has got pea protein powder, it's got agave, prebiotic powder, uh, it's got goji berry, hemp, ginger, turmeric, um, acerola, reishi, and then uh, it's got some probiotics in here as well. So you've got your prebiotic in here as well as your probiotic. And uh, I have enjoyed this so much that I bought another package. I get, get these on Vitacost and uh, it's very um, affordable if you're using it the way that I use it, which is to enhance my smoothie that I already have, are, you know, that I'm putting protein in because this four tablespoons of this gives you 26 grams of protein. Oh, another thing that I wanted to say about this is that uh, it's sweetened with monk fruit and it's really sweet. It's too sweet for me, but my tolerance for sugar is quite low. It doesn't take a lot for me to register as sugar. So this is very, very sweet. If you do have a sweet tooth, you will probably love this. Uh, and then the other thing is that this is not uh, gritty. It, the grit factor on this is pretty low. I do have some other protein, vegan type protein powders I've been experimenting with uh, that where the grit factor is obvious, but this is pretty smooth. And then the last but not least uh, is something I haven't talked about here before. This is from a company called Bonnie and this is their prebiotic fiber supplement. So you know what probiotics are? Well, they need a certain kind of food in order to really grow and be beneficial, especially the probiotic, you know, the good bacteria that you get in your gut. Well, it feeds on this. This helps that good bacteria to grow. Uh, this prebiotic you can add it to, I add it to my smoothie. It has a hazelnut uh, flavor that's not very strong at all. And this is vegan. It has no sugar. It has no gluten. And you get uh, seven, oh, seven grams of fiber per serving. This has gone a long way towards keeping me regular, towards keeping, uh, you know, when I eat, I just don't feel, when I, when I put this in my smoothies, I feel um, my system just just feels really good. What I guess what I should say is what I don't feel. There's no kind of gas or weirdness going on in my stomach uh, since I've been using this. This along with the way that I make my smoothies now. But to get the most bang for, I do put uh, probiotic you know, fermented yogurt in my smoothies. And so to get the most from that, it's good to add a prebiotic and that's what's in here. I have tried this in other things, like you could sprinkle this over maybe cold cereal, for example. The only thing that I try, they also say that you can put this in baked goods. 
I have tried this in a hot drink and it didn't work. It actually got really thick like pudding. Uh, so don't put it in a hot drink, but I think it would be fine if you want to add it to like a, you know, cold glass of almond milk and mix this in for a little uh, bit of a hazelnut flavor. Uh, I think you would like it. All right, so that's everything I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't too long. I hope I didn't keep you too long. Uh, if you did like this and uh, if you do have experience with any of these products, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you have any questions for me, of course, let, let me know. And, in, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. As, and YouTube appreciates it too. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I hope you uh, are having a wonderful day. Uh, I hope you're, you know, going to get out and go do something fun. The weather is starting to get warm, a little bit warmer. So um, go outside, take a walk, smell some flowers, and enjoy the rest of your day. All right, so until I see you in my next video, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!